Hey guys, quick talking head video on the 4090 content. There's a lot of videos regarding from, you know, from Gamers Nexus, from Jay's Two Cents, and then there's that article from Igor's Lab that turned quite a few heads, and then you're seeing all these burned cables on Reddit, you know, and you might be a little nervous buying a 4090 or if you own one, is my cable going to blow up? Is it not? Is it going to take my computer down with it? I paid a lot of money for this. Why do I need to buy an adapter? <clears throat> well, I'm hopefully going to try to present a layman's man's version, you know, an average tech guy. I, I mean, I, I think I'm somewhat knowledgeable, but I'm no means an expert to maybe try to put your minds at ease. Should you buy a 4090? Should you not buy a 4090 over this? And if you own one, what should you do? So we're going to go with the second one first. If you own a 4090, what, you, what should you do? Well, the key thing you need to look at at Igor's lab in his article, he shows the burned cable. If you look at this picture, it says 150V on it. That is a weaker cable than everybody in America and the Gamers Nexus and the Gamers Nexus guys have shown. It's like half the spec. So of course there could be an issue with it. Gamers Nexus actually in their latest video has a great tutorial on uh, at minute five at the 5:43 mark, and I'll put a link down below. Not that you guys need it, but they show you that you can literally just peel off the tape of the 4090 cable and check check it. If it says 300V, this is not professional advice, but it seems like you will be fine. Now, personally, my 4090 is running great, and I'll, and I'll go over that at the end of the video. I don't think you need to do this. If you want to do it, you should. If your 4090 has had, not, has had no issues, I don't think it will. Again, I am not an expert, but I don't think it will. If you bent it the proper way when you installed it, and you're not in a case where it's grinding up against anything, you should be fine. Now, you could say this with any cables, but we're only talking about the 4090 cables because this is where you know everybody's nervous. Secondly, should you buy a 4090? If you were going to buy a 4090, this cable should not stop you from buying it. Now, if you... You know they're hard to get so if you want to wait a little bit and buy one with an ATX 5.0 or 3.0 PSU why not as Igor has shown in his conclusions and again Igor is a lot more of a professional than I do he does not seem to think that the new power supplies are an issue and you know gamers Nexus and Jay as far as I understand did not test using one of those because nobody really has one but it seems like any issues where they're there are for the adapters so if you can go to a micro center now, if you want to order from MSI, you can literally just get an ATX 3.0 power supply and you will be fine. Again, this is just my unaccredited opinion. I'm trying to simplify this and let's head to my 4090 and I can show you what I mean. Superman here again. I just wanted to give you an update on my personal rig. Now this PC has not been off since I've got the 4090. I mean, I had a crash during Call of Duty, which I will actually make a video on that later. But as you can see, there are no issues whatsoever. I'm running this thing on an 850 power volt power supply with just three wires. And again, if you are also afraid of the adapter, I would only connect three, three pins, even if you have the option for a fourth. The MSI does not, the MSI GPUs, as far as I understand, do not give you an option for the fourth. But even if you have it, I wouldn't connect it. That way, you can't even draw more than 100 watts or 100% of the power. Now, again, I have no plans on taking the sleeve off to check everything. I'm very comfortable with, with how everything works, and I've had zero issues. That doesn't mean there aren't any issues. I'm just giving you my point of view. If your cable seems fine, if you have it installed properly, I don't think you need to do anything. Again, like I said four times already, that's just my opinion. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And I've, I hope this video from one gamer to another will help you put your mind at ease about your 4090 if you have one or help you make the right decision on whether you want to buy a 4090 or not buy one or wait for an ATX 3.0 PSU. Personally, I don't plan on getting an ATX 3.0 PSU unless I upgrade my uh, my 5950 and my Dark Hero, which I 
I can't really justify it right now. So I, I don't think I'll be upgrading my power supply probably honestly for at least another year. So this will be my setup for the foreseeable future. You know, again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Like, subscribe.